everyone, welcome back to Duncan Ropa. Trigger Happy Havoc! We are in the midst of investigating two fairly mysterious, unusual murders of Taka and Hifumi, uh, who have, at least to our knowledge right now, were murdered by Yasuhiro in a robo suit, which is just weird to begin with, but all every the timing and everything surrounding this case has just gotten really fucking weird. Um, it's weird to the point we're doing a recap. I mean, it, it, this is kind of funny. In game, we tried to get a recap from Sakura last time. Yeah. And it took like 10 minutes. It's a really complicated case. It's super case. complicated. So the most I'm, I'm going to say is that so they're accusing Yasuhiro uh, be, mostly because Hifumi died and said that Yasuhiro did it. They found incriminating evidence in, in Yasuhiro's room to suggest that he, he was the one in the costume. Um, but there's all sorts of weird shit around, like, the moving, the moving of the bodies and where they ended up, the yeah. order in which it happened. Um, <clears throat> Suffice yeah. to say, without further examination, it seems like everybody has an alibi, save for Yasuhiro and Kyoko. Yes, um, correct. And so, you know, focus was already on those two. Yep. Um, so moving forward, it basically we need to figure out, is Yasuhiro a red herring? Is doubting him a red herring? Yeah. Like, doubting that he's the culprit? Uh-huh. Is that, like, <clears throat> a play? Is he the plant? Is Kyoko the plant? What's going on? There's right. a lot of different things. Um, yeah. So... That's as much of a summary as we can give right now. Uh, sorry, it's pretty complicated, but hopefully we're probably going to conclude the investigation soon. And yes. we'll be able to investigate this further mm -hmm. once we get to the trial. Yep. Byakuya is suspecting Kyoko as being the, the plant, the spy. I am continuing to suspect Yasuhiro as the plant or spy, and I'm going to stick by that until I am proven wrong. Okay. For now. Sounds um, good. So I don't think we can, can we do see if we can leave here? Yeah, I don't think we can do anything else in here, so... I should see what everyone has to say. Who have oh, we not talked to? Uh, who? What? Kyoko? Uh, maybe. I guess I'll talk to her. Okay. She looks like she's lost in thought. I don't think she's in the mood to talk. I'd better leave her alone. Okay. I guess I'll talk to everybody. Yeah. What the heck? There's no to uh, talking your way out of this one. You did it. Everyone knows it. Okay. Hero? What the heck? Um... If you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? Hey, hey Makoto? Who was it? Well, two people were killed. Taka and Hifumi. What? 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 Two people? Just the worst. Why are you freaking out? You did it. Please. I did not! Huh? Wait, hold on. If those two were the ones that who uh, that were killed, how about that? That's it. I know who did it. So then, you may as well tell us then. Hmm. Taka and Hifumi were fighting over alter ego, right? I'm at least thirty. Which means right. alter ego and or Chihiro must have done it. Oh boy. Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please. Huh? Unfortunate? What the heck? Stop trying to trick us. Just admit it. You did it. Okay. I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, so oh, then. I know that note. Note? Uh, um. Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. Oh, uh, what? And here's what it said. I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. What? Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. We'll meet at the rec room at 1 a.m. But the last thing I remember is going to the rec room. Then, for some reason, I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. Just the worst. What Not the a chance. fuck is this story? So... No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? What? Really? <sighs> I told you, someone's trying to set me up. A secret passage, a chance to escape... Someone wrote all that to trick me! <sighs> Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. <sighs> well, after being trapped here so long, even if you know it's a lie, you gotta check, right? Yeah! yeah. I, I don't know what that sound effect <laughs> is! <laughs> they preyed on my desire to get out of here! They deceived me! <sighs> I still don't buy it. 
Don't be mean. Well, you should buy it. Just a second. Okay, then show us the note. Yeah. Hmm. With pleasure. I have it right here in my um pocket. No way. <laughs> Looks like I lost it. Great. Uh, awesome. Yeah, sure. Please. please! You gotta believe me, I wouldn't hurt a fly! <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must produce evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with what you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. Uh, what the heck? For serious? Okay, yes, yeah, so here's a count has been added to the truth bolt section of your handbook. <laughs> now then, should we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do you need to keep investigating? We already know who did it! See, now they're like driving home really hard like, We know it was Yasuhiro, so it has to be Yasuhiro! So, which means it's obviously not a Yasuhiro, or... I don't know. Unless, unless, unless it's it a, is, a reverse it's a red, red herring. Yeah! Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, Hero! Uh, no, it's like I said. Just the worst. Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered? Yeah, that must be it. You must be totally broke, and that's why... I did... I, I predict that. <laughs> Wait, that's a false accusation. Somebody help me! What are you saying? Just be thankful I haven't bound and gagged you. If you have time to, uh, if you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for evidence, right? Uh, yeah, you're, you're right. I need to look for a second suit in that note. Feet don't fail me now! I guess I'd better get back to guard duty. I was gonna ask Toko, uh, uh Genocide Jack to switch with me. Hmm. But if she and Sakura got into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. <laughs> well... Bye. One by one, everyone peeled away. Makoto. Makoto, do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. Okay. It would seem... It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Sure, I, I don't mind helping. But can you promise me something? Later, when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? Why is that? No. To reject me so simply. Anyway. Anyway, I need your help. Do you mind? You don't mind, do you? Uh, okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Now then, shall we? Makoto, you gotta stand strong. He's like, I'll only do this if you do this thing for me. And she's like, no. But yeah. you are gonna still do this. But he's still like, oh, gonna okay. go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, Makoto. First, I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe what I'm hearing from, uh, hearing that, ugh, I can't believe I'm hearing that from a girl the same age as me. Correct. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway. Anyway, we have to hurry before the class trial begins any again. Y yeah, you're right. Well then, show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. And I guess we should head that way for now. Teleport? Nope. Oh, okay. Can you use the map? Uh, yeah. Yeah, this is the second floor. We're kind of far away. Yeah, yeah, let's teleport. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Can I get any closer? That's those close, yeah. Yeah. Cool. All right. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Take me into the repository. Step, 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 step. Gotta walk really slow. I wish I could walk a little faster. But that's you okay. You can run, can't you? Oh, can I? Yeah, I think there's a run button. Oh, pfft. it doesn't matter. It's fine. You don't. You, you don't, don't spend all that much time walking. You don't really need to run nah. much. Yeah. Oh, and then back we go. You really fucking fucked up if it was locked. Okay, it's not right there. There. Yes. <laughs> he for me. And Taka. For a moment. Kyoko seemed to go rigid, but only for a moment. So then... Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and, poking and prodding the bodies. I knew it. The Monokuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth. She was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. Okay. Alright. Um, Thoughts, Kyoko? 
Yeah, should I talk to her or investigate the bodies again? Um, I, I mean, we're not gonna know. Makoto that's, doesn't know shit. That's true, that's true. I see. Makoto, I found something. You did? Hey. You remember the wristwatch Taka always wore on his left hand? He did? Woo. Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? Damn. No, that's not it. Anyway, you said he had a watch? So then. Take a look. It's broken. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? It's mo It most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. And if you notice, the hands are frozen at just past six o'clock. Oh, like when he got attacked? Yeah. So that would mean the watch was broken sometime just after six? That's right. But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. Oh, this is... <laughs> uh, uh, hey, you! How long are you just gonna keep us waiting? Sorry, I You're got good. caught in a burp that you I was were trying to okay. stifle. <laughs> you weren't expecting to have a line right then. I, was, I wasn't expecting I thought you were gonna keep going. Yep, I did too. <laughs> Taka's irritated voice pierced the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. There it is, you did notice it. It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that? Bedtime for all the little boys and girls. Yup. In other words. So if it worked at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. Yeah. Meaning it must have happened at 6 this morning. Oh, that's you. Sorry. That was you. Oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so it's sorry. Okay. I didn't yeah. see it either. Broken wristwatch. Wristwatch. Yep. However. And that's not all. Oh, this is interesting because it supposedly he was killed with Hammer 4. Yeah. But it didn't ha- but he was killed before he for me. Potentially, yeah. Maybe, yeah. And that's uh. not all. Look at Taka's left hand. Oh. Oh! He appears to be gripping something. Everyone else is useless. Yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. Like, God damn it. No one- it, it's like no one else wants to solve anything. Mm -mm. Even Byakuya's like, this is very interesting now. And then he's like- he just wanders off yeah, to do whatever. Right, bye. Yeah. You're right. There's something white in there. Makoto. Can you try to pry it out? Me? Because... Rigor mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited at this sort of manual labor, right? Okay. Uh, okay. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. Ugh. The I- Oops. 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 It's okay. <laughs> We're all good. It's all good. Everything's fine. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object from his tightly clenched fist. Oh. A piece of paper? Hey. Was that all he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. Doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Is that right? I wonder about that. Mm. Kyoka then turned to Hifumi's body. So then... Let's check Hifumi's body now. Perhaps he's left us, uh, us a few clues of his own. Okay, torn piece of paper. Kitaka scrap of paper. Cool. Okay. Alright. All right. I just... guess we can... Does this do it? The biggest problem I have right now... Is how the killer was able to- No, I think okay, we just needed yeah. to click on her again. Oh, yeah, because so we've sorry. already got this. No, right. you're fine. Um, just, the, just, yep. 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 Do, do, yep, do, do, yep, do. Yep. Come on, come on, okay. come on, come on. Yeah, 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 okay. Come on. Not directed towards you, directed towards yeah. the game. There we go, okay. okay. Take me back! <laughs> so, did you find anything? Indeed. I did. More than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. Oh, a wad of paper? That's right. Hifumi had it hidden on him. Hidden? Indeed. He'd stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he'd hidden it on purpose, you see? In his pants? Wait, so you- Why is that? It was just in his pants, not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto, open it up. When I think of how it was stuffed on his pants, it's like- it better be important, he, he for me, or I'll, never let you, or I'll never forgive you for this. He's dead, Makoto. Yeah. Oh, it's the torn, uh, uh, yeah. corner. Yeah. A note? Uh, oh, this is the, yeah. Sorry, okay. I, that's what I thought you were going to say. Sorry, yeah. yeah. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. So that sounds fami very familiar. It's like the note that that Yasuhiro said claims that he got. Yeah, that's it. It's the same thing Hiro said. 
that he was telling us the truth. However, although it's not exactly the same, is it? Yeah, what did uh, he say? Um, Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole. Maybe we can use it to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't nah. tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1 a.m. Mm. The time is different. Hiro told us that his notes said to meet at 1 a.m. In the rec room. Yeah. Uh, but the note they wrote to Hifumi asked him to meet at 6 a.m. In the equipment in room. In the equipment room. Yeah. Is that also, one? the writing for that one looks like it matches the writing for the um, the blueprints yeah. for the robot. I think you're right. Yeah. Hold on. Just because Hifumi had, this, uh, had the note doesn't... Sorry. Hold on. Just because Hifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? So... Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning here, there. There's some meaning to part of it being ripped? Um, could you explain it a little bit more? We just found a torn piece of paper, though. Ah! Think carefully. Hey. Why would he have been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly? I... I have no idea. So then... What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? Huh. And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Okay. You know what Hifumi had. Okay? Hey. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their e-handbooks on them. Okay. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there were any. Uh, there was any reason to think that there. Not that there was any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think I about did, the handbooks. Did, I missed my emoting on that. That's fine. She's. I. She, her, <laughs> she's hard to her read. Her range is so slim. Yeah. That if I can't figure out what the line is going to be ahead of time, I miss. That's like, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. That's fine. Um. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Is that right? If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. Hmm. All I said is that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. A handbook may play a role? I don't think I understand. But if Kyoko thinks it's important, I'd better keep it in mind. Okay, e-handbooks. Sure. Ding dong ding bong. Uh oh. To be clear, I love playing her. It's just, it's. <laughs> so, you have to be a little bit psychic to like. Yeah, to figure sometimes out where you she's can going. overshoot. Yep. Yeah, I yep. understand. Yep. And I'm uh -huh. not a little bit psychic, is the problem. I understand. <laughs> Hello. Are you excited? Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin! Oh, we're, Monokuma, we're can I just say? Kind of missed you. Yeah, you haven't, you haven't yeah, been around I, much. I missed you, friend. Yeah, he hasn't been around. Also, the class trial is starting like, like now, and it's only been, it's only like the morning or like I guess the day. That's true. Although yeah. we've we we had a good amount of time to investigate. Monokuma yeah. gave it like, especially considering when we found the bodies to mm -hmm. now, Monokuma gave us a while. That's true. And Monokuma yeah. knows everything. So he knows like, as soon as we have enough information, yep. like the information we need, he says, okay, let's go. Yep. Yeah. So. Like the bright burst of fireworks, like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. And so with no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot. Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. It would seem... Okay. It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. You'll have to figure out the rest yourself and come to a proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Well, we'd better get going. Uh, okay. Where's it gonna put me? Oh, right in front. Going, that was nice of it. Going right there. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, wow. All right. Well, here we go. Well, almost. God, look how few people are left. Oh, this is it. This is who's left. This is it. God. And there's gonna be one less after this too. Oh God. 
Everyone had heard Monokuma's proclamation, and they were gathered by the red door. As soon as we were all in there... Oh! Monokuma appears! What? Hello! Hello! I can't do two voices oh, at once! Oh shit, should I join in with you? I mean, I if you know. want to! He's multiplied? Wrong! Nope, not multiplication! It just looks that way because I of the uh. It just looks that way because of an illusion. <laughs> I'm moving so fast; it only looks like I've multiplied. <laughs> Can you tell which one is the real Monokuma? Ooh, what are you doing, man? Can you just get on the elevator already. Boy, <laughs> you're not playing along. Along, along. along. Thank you, thank you very much, illusion. <laughs> Stop talking. You're here for me. We're not- we're not here back. to play with you. Okay. What? The fuck? I'm not going hey, board. Hey. Okay. <laughs> then, if everyone uh, here is ready to go, please board the pain train. Eh, elevator. Nah. I'll see you guys down there. Let's go. Okay, then. Shall we? <laughs> please. Hold on, I'm not mentally prepared yet. What the heck? You'll never be mentally prepared. You can't run away anymore, hero. You're gonna pay for your sins. What the heck? I already told you already I didn't do it for serious. Hmm. That reminds me. Did you ever, did you ever find the other costume or the note? Uh, um, well, no, but. <laughs> How unfortunate. Then it would seem we have our culprit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, this isn't the place to talk about it. Save your accusations for when you get into the courtroom. That's right. She's right. Let's get down there first. Then the story can really begin. Okay. Yeah, good idea. That's right. I have to... I have to do it. I can't let whoever killed Hifumi and Taka get away with it. For everyone who's... For everyone who's still alive. And for the two that lost their lives. The one who killed Hifumi and Taka. The one who killed two of our friends. The killer is... Whoa, someone right here! One of them! Yeah. <laughs> um, but it's like not a huge group anymore, yeah. so that's stressful. It's really stressful. I'm gonna go through yeah. and talk to everybody before we go down. Absolutely. Start with genocide. Ooh, yes, yes! Come on, Big Mac, let's do it! Okay. Yes, here is he. It wasn't me. <sighs> it wasn't me. You gotta believe me! I don't yet, but. E. Kyoko. Hey. The story begins when we get down there. Yeah, they all don't say anything. I just think it's fun to click on them. I agree. It's not. It's little yeah. character. Yeah. Things. Yeah. It would appear the culprit has been confirmed. This trial will be over in no time. What about you? What do you have to say? Were you listening? Wait till we get to the courtroom to begin your arguing. Yeah. Just the worst. Let's hurry up and uh, let's hurry up and go so we can make Hiro pay for his crimes. And Sakura. Damn. I don't like Monokuma's carefree attitude. Yeah, me neither. Okay, let's go. I took one last deep breath and exhaled slowly. I began to walk toward the elevator. Once everyone was aboard, we descended. The doors closed on their own, and the steel box began to move. This is all who's left. The clunking of the elevator kept us company as we fell further and further down. There was no going back. Until we, se until we settled all of this, we couldn't go anywhere. I'm not sure how long it was before the elevator finally came to a stop. The elevator door slid open, opening up onto a cruel fate. Very blue. Whoa, it is very blue. When I see all you gathered together like this, I realize just how few of you there are left. Your school life is slowly reaching its climax. Just the worst. Only because of you. Yeah. Why? Why are you making us do such cruel things to each other? That is the question. What? what? Do you really hate me so much? But I'm so cute. Come on. Stop goofing around and begin the trial. 
Don't rush me. Of course I'm gonna start it. I would never be like, stay tuned for an action-packed class trial after the commercial break. And break. No. <laughs> I'd never hold it all out on <laughs> you like that. Okay, let's begin. Get to your assigned seats. Okay. And so, the curtain... It would be funny in the anime if they, <laughs> yeah. if they cut to a commercial <laughs> break there. Yeah. <laughs> and so, the curtain opened once again. A deadly judgment. A deadly deception. A deadly betrayal. A deadly riddle. A deadly defense. A deadly faith. A deadly class trial. He says that every time. No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> I, I don't live. need to save. I want to live on the edge. All right, let's see. We got a new skill from Sakura, so let's we set did. that. We did. Um, our new skill was... Well, we, we don't got... have lost in thought, so it increases the time limit for each phase. How many can I equip? 17, so oh, okay. you're good. That's great. Um, and then... Strength, uh, breathing technique. Breathing That's technique. the one. The focus gauge recovers weight more quickly effective during okay so that's nice that's cool hangman can't fit in bullet time cost okay cool okay, that's, that's everything it. so far yep there's a lot that we don't have here yes oh because you get them just by doing it's free character time events. stuff yeah yeah okay so that's the other reason to go it's a weird balance because like you can get a bunch of early ones with a lot of people if you mm -hmm. do a spread but then you can't get a bunch of late game ones so it's it, interesting it, there's, there's a lot of different ways to go about yeah. this yeah yeah huh okay uh, I, I don't think, think we're I, good. I don't think I need to open the no. handbook. Let's um, do it. All right, off we go. Uh, as I remember how to play the trial. Yeah, that's the best part. Every time. Let's oh, begin God. with a basic explanation of the class trial. So your votes will determine the results. If you can figure out who done it, then only they will receive punishment. But if you pick the wrong one. Then I'll punish everyone besides the blackened, and the one that deceived everyone else will graduate. Now then, to begin with... We already know who did it. Was that? <laughs> <laughs> it was Hero. He does not have an alibi for when the murders took place, and we found him in that suit. Don't try and deny it. You killed them. I didn't. Someone knocked me out. I, I was asleep the whole time. I don't know anything about it. Shut your murdering mouth, murderer! <laughs> Who are you calling a murderer? <laughs> I am sorry to say, Hero, but we do have evidence. Blueprints for the suit. Parts we assume were used to build it. And all of it was found in your room. You have to admit. The evidence is quite compelling. It points to you as having created the suit and wearing it while committing crime after crime. How many times do I have to tell you? I... I... I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! Is Hero really the killer? Or... Before anything else, we have to make that clear. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. God, there's so few! Oh, this is great, this is crazy, okay. Where, where are my bullets? Yes, here's, here's message. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, it usually starts off kind of Yeah. Just to remind you how to slow things down, room. yeah. Nice! The blueprints, yeah. the suit part, they are all proof enough that you are the culprit. Is that <laughs> here's message? It's his... I don't know anything okay. about that stuff! Yeah. This is the handwriting, it's not, not the... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hero, why? Why did you kill them? No! Great just yeah. hold on a second! Okay. Oh, interesting. Okay. I mean, the blue yeah. looking at the blueprints, that handwriting is awful messy. Yeah, I, I didn't but realize which I message didn't... it was until too late. Yeah, yeah same, 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 yep. same. Everything so I'll do the blueprints. Um, the blueprints. Yes, the here we go. Part, oh, they are all shit. Fuck. 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 You are. I missed it. Look at me, remembering how to play. This is what the first one is for. Yep. I don't know anything about that I'll stuff. Just, where's the fast forward? It's uh, not true. It's a conspiracy. This one? I, I don't know. I, I'm sorry. No, I just don't remember. Where did you kill? No. There, it there it is. Okay. Hold on a second. Okay. 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 See? Okay. Woo! We're going right. to get back in it. It's going right. to be okay. It's fine. I still have a lot of time. Yeah. Room. The blueprints, the suit parts. Oh, no. Fuck. <laughs> That you are. No, god damn it! <laughs> Let's just speed it up again. Hero, no, just no come on. Second. Bear with me, please. As I remember 
everything we found in No the shit. The blueprints, the okay. suit part. They are all proof enough. There it is. You're good. Okay. Okay. No. All right. Ooh, sorry. We're good. It's not intuitive that Y is shoot the thing. Like, are we sure? In my opinion. Really <laughs> okay. What do you mean? Well, take a look at this. It's the note that Hero wrote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Asking everyone to meet up after Alter Ego disappeared. The handwriting's obviously different, wouldn't you say? When you compare it to the blueprints. There's no way you could think the same person made both of them. Unless that person made it a point to disguise their handwriting. No, the differences are bigger than that, I think. Come on! I'm not smart enough to think of trying to change my handwriting anyway. So, Makoto, are you saying you don't think Hiro's the culprit? And he's not the only one. I think Hiro's innocent as well. Interesting. What? Interesting, yeah. Then who was in that robo-justice suit? Is it like Hiro said? Was there really someone running around in a second suit? The suspicious individual hidden within the suit. Go ahead, Makoto. Tell them who it was. And of course, he passes it off to me. I mean, unless it was Taka. So? Who was in the robo-justice suit? No, I think we know for certain it was Hero. Yeah, like, Hero yeah, was he, in it. Exactly. Yeah, so he, he was in the suit, but he's not the killer, I think is what he's getting at. Um, I'm gonna go here. That's at least what Byakuya seems to be getting yeah. at. Yeah. Other than Hero, I can't think of anyone else it could have been. Obviously, he was the one in that particular suit, and we never found any kind of second suit. Then there can be no doubt. Hero is the prime suspect. That doesn't make any sense. You just said Hero didn't do it. It makes perfect sense. Hero was the suspicious individual in the suit, but he's not the culprit. So what you're saying is... That's right. The culprit in this case has nothing to do with being in the robo-justice suit. What? <laughs> I just like hearing people say robo-justice. Robo yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just makes you smile. Now that's a bold assumption. And what reason do you have to make such a statement? You of course. I'm so sorry. But before we get to that, there's something else we need to clarify first. So let's get that out of the way. Hey, stop trying to boss us around. I do. All I love that spray. Her hair yeah. gets all spiky. Uh -huh. cool. So what is it? What needs to be clarified? We must clarify the method of transportation for Taka's lifeless body. Got it would rolled seem around. that his corpse was moved using certain particular items. Makoto, can you tell us what they were? I'm sorry. I, it, for for a long time, uh, yeah, it's the it's the tarp and the rolly thing. Yeah, uh, I have to pick both. Re yeah, re let's do the repository dolly yeah. first. Yeah. Oh, that uh, present this. I got it. Sorry, for a long time, the Telemokoto was like a meme in the Danganronpa community. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's always like, of course I have an answer for that. Telemokoto. Let him know, Makoto. <laughs> I'm in cave. I don't actually have answers. <laughs> There's still one more thing. The thing that was used to move Taka's body, they must have been... Tarp! And the blue tarp. I got it! Okay. 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 Making were, progress. Yep. A dolly and a tarp, right? <laughs> of course. What's with the attitude? So, let's see if I can explain. Taka's body disappeared from the equipment room. And then we rediscovered it in the repository. And when we found it for the second time, it was wrapped in a blue tarp, right? It was the same tarp that up until then was stored in the equipment room. So the killer must have seen it there and decided to use it when they moved Taka's body. That way, they wouldn't leave any bloodstains while they were moving it. Okay, that explains the tarp. And the dolly? Same thing. I'm sure the dolly was in the equipment room when we first found Taka's body there. But when the body disappeared, so did the dolly. Yep. Later, when Taka's body reappeared in the repository, so did the doll. Well done, Makoto. There we go. In other words, 
You think they use the dolly to move the body, am I right? But are you sure you are not mistaken? Huh? Are you absolutely positive the dolly was in the equipment room when we found Taka's body? That dolly was made specifically for moving large objects between the repository and the art room. It would be very strange indeed to discover it had made its way to the equipment room. To begin with. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a good point. That is a good point. But we did we did click on it, unfortunately, yeah. so last time it's got blood on the wheel. Yeah. Is yep. it not possible that it was in the repository all along, and you simply didn't realize it? She's raised an objection. How do you respond? <laughs> yeah, <I can't laughs> answer! Use your why words! Why don't you respond? You got There's words, no buddy! There's no shame in being wrong. And nobody expects much from you anyway. Damn. This is one thing that um, changes in this in the future games. In in Danganronpa One, it's very much everybody looking at Makoto, being like, "Hello, player, can you answer this for me? Tell us what you think." Yeah. Whereas yeah. in the future ones, the other the NPCs like have their own debates that kind of go on without you. And then you kind of jump in and out. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that makes way more sense. Yep. Yeah. This was their first go, though. And admittedly, like, the characters are still great and in character, but it is a lot more like, tell me, Makoto. Yeah. <laughs> hey, player, what are you what are you thinking? Yeah, what yeah. are your thoughts on this? The fact that you rarely understand what is going on around you. Jeez, that's Left. so false, though. Wow, I've never had anyone sound so nice while being so mean. Maybe I can change your mind. If I can just explain to them why the dolly must have been moved from the equipment room to the repository. New element has been in the whole time, so would you like to hear more? Yes, Absolutely! Yeah. Let's talk about reloading. Starting with this next bullet time battle, we're going to add one more ingredient to the recipe. On the, on the bottom of the screen underneath, screen, underneath the tempo marker, you'll see your ammo count. Up until now, there hasn't really been a limit on how you destroy your opponent's statements. But from now on, just locking on and pressing the Y button won't be enough to handle them. Now it will cost you one bullet to destroy a single remark. Once you run out of bullets, you can't destroy any more statements no matter how locked on you are. However, you can reload pressing the X button. Okay. Just like locking on, You'll have to press the X button in time so with now the it's tempo like marker. B Y B Y B Y X B Y B Y B Y X. It's the it's the rhythm game. Okay, why am I pressing B or A Y A Y A Y X? Whatever oh. it is. To, yeah. Okay, because B, B speeds it up, right bumper slows it down, Y locks on and shoots. A shoots the little guys. No, this is the 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 rhythm uh, game. Oh, am I doing the rhythm game now? Yeah. Oh, 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 oh I thought I was doing the. Uh, um, okay. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Basically, just remember that the X button now has a function along with the A and Y buttons. Yeah. Okay. Alright. So, A, Y, A, Y, A, Y, X, A, Y, A, Y, A, Y, X, A, Y, A, Y, A, Y, X, yes. Over and over again. Exactly. Yeah. You automatically reload at the start of fever time and your ammo will not decrease. Oh, but if your action difficulty is set to gentle, you won't have to reload at all. In which case, you can ignore everything I just said. Well then, good luck and have fun. It'll be. Okay. Getting into the rhythm game real early. Ugh, I know, I'm surprised. Don't love the rhythm game. I don't either. You had it wrong. I cannot agree. Oh shit. You are a fool. So pathetic. Lies will get you nowhere. Do your worst. Away with you. Oh shit. Oh shit. X doesn't. You're you're fully okay. reloaded. Okay, you have I to. Am. You have to shoot. <laughs> oh shit. Oh shit. I agree. You are a fool. Lies will get you nowhere. Oh what shit! Are you doing? <laughs> I'm, get, I'm trying to do it before I get too low, but you I guess I don't need wrong. to. Oh shit! I cannot oh shit! You are a fool. Oh wow! You're out. You're out. Oh, oh you, shit! You, okay, there we go. Do your worst. Away with you. Do you have bullet time? You might want to try bullet uh, time. Yeah, know. there you go. <laughs> Let's just do that. Yep. I cannot agree. You Thank you for getting me on that. <laughs> She's almost out. Okay, there we go. Final strike. I cannot agree. No. Prove it. Okay. <laughs> what a fucking weird thing. <laughs> Whew. Oh my god, it got a little close there. Dolly move. I have it right here. When I found the dolly in the repository, we could have just said that though. <laughs> but it's a video game. 
The game really wants to remind you that it's a video game. <sighs> it was a pool of Would this game have worked better as a visual novel? Yes. yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> The killer probably rolled the dolly through the blood on accident as they wheeled the body out of the room. And as the blood dried on the tire, they moved the body into the repository. So there's my proof that the dolly was used to move Taka's body. Yeah. Jeez, does Celeste really hate me that much? Jeez, did Celeste actually do it? Ah, oh boy. Well, anyway, that was just something we had to get out of the way. Let's get back to the main subject. Yeah, the subject of how Robo Justice didn't do it. Because if it's not a killer robot, then what kind of robot is it? What? Hina. Hina. My heart. My girl. <laughs> I love this Hina. girl. <sighs> oh boy. I'm so fond of this girl. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm not sure that really matters. Thank you, Sakura. <laughs> also I'd fond of this girl. To explain <laughs> yes. why the occupant of the suit couldn't possibly be the killer. If you look back on how the body was transported, it will become immediately obvious. I look back on how the body was moved, it'll be clear why the person in the suit couldn't have done it, because it doesn't bend. Yep. Yeah. What does he mean by that? Okay, are we back in this... Back in this. Yeah, normal, normal. Great. Non stop debate. Okay, Robo Justice costume. Yes. Okay. So we just need to. Somebody's gonna say bending down and we're, yeah. we have to shoot that. As we know, Taku was killed in the equipment room. Yes. And so your health there, is kinda low, so we just need to be careful. Oh. Okay. Correct? Yeah, the culprit wrapped the body in nope. the tarp. No, nope. it's the dolly. And loaded it onto the dolly and wheeled it off, right? I don't know if no, this it, is No, it's, right. it's, it's, they, yeah. No, this is wrong. Fuck. It, it is sorry. the dolly, but yeah. yeah. Ah, shit. Yeah, it, it is the dolly, but As be careful. You know, okay. Taka was killed in the and from there. They're gonna talk oh, about yeah. bending. That's why I was saying. I that, think I yeah. might it onto the dolly let this play out for a sec. Keep in mind that the dolly doesn't have a handle. Correct. Well, yeah, but even without a handle, all you'd have to do is yeah. There, over. there we go. No, that's wrong. Okay, I went too early. And my uh, health is really low. It's fine. It's You're fine. It's fine. We're gonna be right okay. You could push a dolly without a handle if you stoop down low. But if you were wearing that suit, do you think you could actually get into a position like that? What do you mean? Think back to what you said when we were all checking out the suit together. Remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm blind as a bat in here, and I can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. When you're in that suit, not only can you not see your feet, but you can't even bend at the waist. Am I right about that? Now that you, you mention it, yeah. It seems like it'd be awfully hard to push that dolly if you couldn't bend over. I guess you could kick it, but that would be really hard. Yeah. Well, what's to stop you from simply pushing yeah. the dolly with your feet? When you can't even see your feet? You really think someone could kick the dolly all that way? Yeah, it'd be totally impossible! Not that I can say for sure myself. Mm. On top of that, if you were wearing such a rigid, cumbersome suit, it's very unlikely you would have the dexterity to go about wrapping the body in a tarp. Well, I mean, isn't that just a matter of taking off the suit when you're ready to move the body? There's absolutely no chance that the costume was taken off just to move the body because uh, you can't take it off by yourself. Yep. Yep. I got it! Give my help back, I don't please. think taking off the suit was an option. If you remember... Yep. No quick changes in this suit. Yep. I don't- we don't need to read that yeah. line. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we know. We, know. we we've yeah. already expressed this out loud. Yep. It's a clasp! Yep, yep. It's difficult! That's true. It seems impossible to put the suit on or take it off without help. Then... you really can't take it off by yourself? Hero wasn't just making it up? Uh, of course I wasn't making it up! If he could have gotten it off by himself, I don't think he would have let us see him wearing it. Showing up in the suit was basically an invitation for everyone to suspect it. Yeah, that's right! 
So, it's really, really true that Robo Justice couldn't have moved the dolly? To be clear, whoever did move the body, it couldn't have been Hero in the robot suit, correct? No, wait. Just a second, if you please. Have you forgotten about the picture that I took? You all got a good look at it, did you not? The image of Hifumi being dragged away by Robo Justice? If whoever was in that suit is not the culprit, how do you explain that? Unless it was already on the camera and she didn't actually take it. And she just pointed up and be like, look, I saw him. This was it. And this was actually just like Hifumi, I don't know, doing something else. I fucking don't know. I don't mm. know. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Besides, do you remember what the now deceased Hifumi said? I mean, but why? I like, know, yeah, I don't know that, why. That's why I was making noises. Like, I, I, maybe, but I don't <sighs> know. I don't know what I that would know. mean. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what? How did you get hurt? That guy hit me. What guy? Robo Justice. Er, that's what I've decided to call him just now. Okay. So long as those facts exist, the proper conclusion is beyond question. The individual inside the suit and the culprit are one and the same. It was Hero, without a doubt. Yeah. I mean, for what it's worth... Yeah, that's gotta be right. Even following their earlier logic, while Hero couldn't have moved the body, he could have, at minimum, done the first two attacks. True. Yeah. True, like, he could, he could have done that and then, like... And then something else happened. Yeah, from I'm just there. trying to I'm trying to see where we're at with with the robo suit because the robo suit exists. Yes, it's in pictures. Ooh, sorry, but can't do certain things. Right. So it's back but to you Byaku can still move your arms. Yeah, back to yeah. Yaku's point. The one whoever was using the robo suit was not the killer culprit. Like pretend or no, didn't move. Things didn't around. move the body. That's that's yeah. the thing is they didn't move the body. Yeah. 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 But you could probably oh, still hold a hammer. Second. True. Yes. It's still far too early to reach that conclusion. Besides, there's no hurry to decide who did it. Before we rush to a verdict, shouldn't we explore every single possibility? Instead of seizing on one viewpoint, the truth is uncovered by analyzing things from every angle. Perhaps. But where do we go from here? Let's review this series of unfortunate events from the beginning. Maybe we'll uncover something new. <laughs> what a pain in the ass! I don't disagree, but our lives are on the line. If this is what it takes, we have to do it. Plus, maybe we'll get to find out where the heck Kyoko was when everything went down. All right then. So yeah, let's take point. That look would back at what happened. That would be really useful, Kyoko, if you could also just tell us where you were. Yeah, that's the thing. Is yeah. like Kyoko. We we clearly were hanging out with you afterwards and like examining bodies with you, but you're not off the subs yeah. like the su uh, the suspect list exactly. Oh, um, yeah, that was very cute. Um, yeah, exactly. Like that would be really nice if she would just like tell us what's going on. But mm. I don't know. I suppose we could start with this morning. Four of us gathered together in the dining hall: Makoto, Hina, Kyoko, and myself. We waited there for quite a while, but nobody else showed up, so we went to look for everyone. That was around 8 a.m. I like that Sakura is the keeper of the timeline. In I this know, song. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, Sakura. <laughs> and as soon as we split up, Kyoko went missing. Soon after that, Hina found Celeste in the rec room and quickly came to get Makoto and me. It seems I was unconscious for about an hour after I was attacked by my mystery assailant. I know it was an hour, because I remember being attacked a little after seven. That was when we saw Celeste's picture and discovered that her assailant had been wearing a strange costume. As it turns out, it was Robo-Justice. It also soon became clear that this same Robo-Justice had abducted Hifumi. We were soon joined in our search by Byakuya and Toko and then went on to find Hifumi in the library. He was injured, so we took him to the nurse's office and resumed our search for the suspect. But not long after leaving the nurse's office... 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. That's when she We've claimed. already sort of she heard the summary me. from Sakura before. When Celeste yeah. told us that, we decided to split up and search the second floor. And soon after that... I saw someone moving around on the third floor. And I yelled out to everyone as soon as I did. Yep, that's what's wrong. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Rather intense. Um, I saw a shadow. Saw a let's go, let's go, let's go. Yep. And then... And that's when we hear the yell from Hifumi. Hifumi. Yeah. We find him in the nurse's office. Yep. At that point, we decided to divide up into two groups. Celeste, Hina, and I went back to the nurse's office, while Sakura, Byakuya, and Toko chased after the suspect. When we got back to the nurse's office, we found Hifumi, dead. And that's when we heard the body discovery announcement. I left Celeste and Hina there and headed back to the third floor to let the others know what had happened. Meanwhile, we had just discovered Taka's body in the equipment room. I still think that the one in the body announcements was for one person. Uh, and, like, one of them wasn't dead. I'm still thinking Hifumi wasn't dead when we first found his body, quote-unquote, mm -hmm. uh, the first time, like, now. We must um, have found both bodies no, that's totally at fair. almost exactly the same time. Sorry. The second body announcement is weird, though, because it did happen before. But we know Hifumi wasn't dead. Unless he... But but then he also he, wasn't dead when the second body announcement thing happened. Did the second body up, announcement happen... he wakes up happen... afterwards. From, oh. from Hina's tears. Oh, that's right. So basically so the body weird. announcements are kind of... They throw everything off. Well, it's more... Yeah. They must not be hyper accurate because... Mm. Because Monokuma pressed that button... And then and it was, was like, like, oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was still up. All right. Well, oops. Because we heard the same announcement not long after we discovered his body. And that's when I told you guys about Hifumi. Then the three of us headed for the nurse's office. But right after we left the physics lab, we ran into Celeste, who'd arrived after us. And she told us something very surprising. Body moved. Okay. Body moved. Yeah, body's just lost. We Other body back moves. To the nurse's office and saw that she was right. Then we remembered we'd left Toko passed out in the equipment room, so we hurried back again. Yep. Okay. 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 Body's gone. Body. No body. But when we got there, big old mystery. We discovered yep. that now Taka's body had also gone missing. Next yep. thing we knew, we were searching and after go. some time. Yeah. Celeste informed us that she'd found the bodies, and we all headed to the repository, which is where we rediscovered the corpses. Okay. So we're all on the same page We're here. almost through. We're almost through. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right. Okay. I see. The whole thing sounds exceptionally complicated. It is. It certainly seems to me that these are not a simple series of connected events. I think some are connected and some are unconnected. Like some are connected to each other, and then others are connected to other things. Okay, maybe. well, if that's true, then what? Rather than a single series of events, I think we have to consider each murder a separate situation. And from there, we can uncover the contradictions surrounding all of them. Yeah. Now then, let's get started, beginning with what happened to Taka. The contradictions hidden in what happened to Taka. In order to uncover the truth of this case, I have to find them no matter what. And we have a few. Yeah. Yeah, we have a few. How much health do I have? Do I still have like two and a half hearts? Okay, Monokuma file three. All that says is that they got hit by a hammer. That's it. Yeah. Which means we're probably gonna, excuse so, me, have to pull and shoot. Taka's death. Oh, I don't remember I how to pull. I wonder if he died okay. before he threw me. Oh wait, wait, oh, I can find out with the help. Um. Uh, fast forward is B. Spots, firing, loading, quick select. Uh, left button choose we automatically loaded in their order. Um, if you target a weak spot and then hold down Y, you can... Okay. Wait. Silencer. Isn't, isn't the flashback the thing? Uh, which one? The truth bullet flashback? Yeah, if you target a weak spot and then hold down the Y button, you can use that weak spot as a temporary truth bullet. Ah, yeah, 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 there so it is. Just hold so y. instead of tapping Y, hold Y. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes uh, yeah, you say not, that? I'm not sure about that, though. Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. It's true that Hifumi was killed with Justice Hammer 3. While mm -hmm. Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. Justice Hammers were numbered, but... Were they really used in that order? Wait, so, is that the two weak regarding points Taka's are the order... Death. I and wonder if he died before he threw me. Wonder if he died before. Wait a sec, can you press X real quick? Uh, um, go down to yeah. yeah look at Monica in file three. I just yeah. want to confirm what the actual victims are. Uh, the cause of death reaches the bloater head is uh, yeah, not helpful. both killed by it with a similar yeah. weapon. We already know what order they were killed in. Okay, what order is one? Uh -huh. came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the justice the numbering. Um, okay. It's true that Hifumi was killed the with only Justice two Hammer points, right? 3. Yeah. While Taka's death came from a swing of Justice Hammer 4. See? So it's obvious Taka came after. Mm, maybe the numbering for the order? So I should pull uh, uh, the numbering and then hit order with it? I'm So, okay, before you proceed, before yeah. you proceed. All right, so I'm trying to figure out what their logic here is. The, the file says they were hit with a similar weapon. Mm -hmm. Either that could mean that it's trying to suggest that they were hit with the same hammer and that the others don't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah, Or yeah. it could mean that... Wait, that's a good point, because remember, we did find a hammer... That was not marked. Mm. That w looked like it was cleaned. Yeah, like the one the thing I'll hammer. note is that none of the hammers that were swung had blood on them. Yes. Yeah. They looked so, like they were placed there. So, is the Monokuma file against the order or the the number? Is the number? This is uh, like my yeah, the logic. I I don't know what the logic here. I is. don't either. Um, yeah, because it can either be that. The number was not the order. They were different. It could be that that's irrelevant because they were killed with a different weapon. Which right. We don't know. We know there's a there's a there's a Chekhov's hammer quite literally on the wall. Yes. But we don't know whether. Shit. I don't know where to. Um, let me run through it again. Yeah. The problem is we're so, so we've never been this low on health before. Death. Yeah. So, I want it to be I wonder right. If he died before he threw me, or perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering of the justice hammers. I don't know if I should... The, the hammer thing, like, it feels like it's it's several steps ahead. I could yeah, be wrong. I agree. So my, my impulse would be... So it's obvious Taka came The numbering breaks the order. Or the order breaks the numbering. But... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I, I genuinely don't this know. This sucks because I want to just try something. What happens if I run out of health? Uh, I think we have to reset to a save, but we could also save here and we can just try. Can I just, yeah. can I just do that? Um, how about I do this? Oh, oh you can't because we're in a mini game. Oh, that makes sense. Look, we just have to make it through. Okay, all right. Um, Just try. I'm, so we I can't just use, keep cycling. I won't so. use the Monokuma file then. I will, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, um, I'm going to take the numbering and shoot the order. Okay, let's, yeah. let's do it. Um, so, or maybe I can't. Oh, death. yes, I can, because then it runs through. I yeah, exactly. Died yeah. Before perhaps it was after. We already know what order they were killed in. Taka take, came last. What makes you say that? Because of the numbering you got this. of the justice hammers. Okay. It's true that Hifumi was while Taka's death. See? So it's obvious Taka came okay. after. All right, all right. I sped it up. Okay, um, so now shoot the order. Okay. So, regarding Taka, I wonder if This feels... I think the other thing is... We already even if that's a thing, it just feels... No! Nope. Shit! I gotta steal it again. Taka sorry. came last. All right, sorry. What you say I that? I held it down too long. Because of the numbering of the Justice Hammers. Okay. Okay, fast forward. It's true that he flew while Taka's death. Everybody, sorry. You got this. Okay. 
So, Let's go. Regarding Taka's death, I wonder if he died before perhaps it was after. Okay, okay, right okay, here. okay, right okay, here. okay, we okay. No, what order they were killed. All right, there we go. Cool. No, hey, there we go. Got it. No health lost. Woo! <sighs> Hold on. There's no reason to assume that the hammers were used in the same order as their numbers. I think that's all it was. It's just like. Considered that they were just used in a different order. Yeah, which yeah. isn't a contradiction. Is yeah. the one problem. Another way the killer tried to disguise their actions. Mm -hmm. So you're saying the culprit wanted us to think the hammers were used in order, but in reality, Taka was killed before Hifumi. Okay then, let's see the proof. Got some. How about this hammer? This that's not. That's not no, the. Yeah. No, it's the claw. It's a watch. Yeah. Uh, uh, Yeah. 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 <laughs> Evidence that proves Taka was killed before Hifumi. There's something that relates to what time he must have died. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's the watch! It's the watch! Oh, Game we just have to spell it. watch. Okay. I can do that. Wrist watch? Wrist watch. <laughs> okay. Uh, that one. No, not that one. Uh, that one. I don't think I need that anymore. Wa watch. Did I get it? We need an A. Yeah. Uh, wrist watch. There a. it is! Oh my God. H. H, give me an H. Give me an H. Give me an H anywhere. H, 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 H. H, 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 H. Got it. Ooh, brilliant. Thank you. Now Magnificent. I, I can shoot wristwatch. What a perfect Hangman's Gambit that I'm was. So I'm proud. It was, it was beautiful to behold. <laughs> See? Look. It broke with the hands pointing just past six o'clock. It must have gotten broken when he was attacked by the killer. Because as of last night, Yes, we know. Yeah, yeah, it yeah, worked know, at 10, 10 o'clock. Yes, he looked at his watch at 10 o'clock. And he was like, you cretins. So yeah. if it wasn't broken Get your after asses to bed, doggone it. Yeah. Then he must have been attacked around 6 this morning. Get your dumb butts to bed. <laughs> and that would be his official time of death. But if that's true, then he was killed well before Hifumi. And yep. before Celeste was attacked this morning, which happened around 7. That's right. Taka was killed before any of the other incidents took place. That simple fact slipped past all of us. We made the wrong assumption about the order of events, all because of those justice hammers. That's exactly why the culprit wrote the numbers on each hammer and had them increase in size. That way, when we saw how really they were used this in out. each incident, we'd yeah. easily make that wrong assumption. That's kind of the thing that's surprising about this one is it feels incredibly deliberate. Yeah. Whereas was... all the others have been like a, a moment of passion and then a cover up. This yeah. is something different. Someone's been planning this for a long time. Yeah. Now, if Taka was killed around six, then everyone's alibis for his murder go out the window. Mm-hmm. Because when he was killed, we hadn't met up in the dining hall yet. That may be true in the case of Taka's murder, but all of our alibis still hold true for Hifumi's death. That's right. With him, at least, we're all safe. Hmm. We heard him. Yep. Kina was there, Celeste was there, Koda was there. All of us were. Yep. That's when the we problem. Heard Hifumi yep. Screaming, we well, except for Yasuhiro and Kyoko. Except uh -huh. for Hiro and Kyoko. Yeah. Yep. Then we all ran down to the nurse's office, and that's where we found his body. That's totally true! We're all in the clear! Oh, I know! They must have recorded him screaming on a tape or something, then played it later on! Totally. If that's true, where's the tape? I don't know. Don't just go making stuff up! Now, to be honest, that was my thought. Oh, really? Yeah, if it was pre recorded I mean, obviously there's there's more to it. Yeah. But when it happened, I was like, okay, this could be pre-recorded. This could be staged. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm even, I was even saying I think Hifumi's was staged in, not the scream, but just him being there, like, pretending, pretending to be dead. Yeah, possibly. I think, I think that's a stronger, like, obviously they're not making fun of Yasu here, but I will say, like, yeah. at, the, at the exact moment it happened, I'm like, scream from off stage. What? That, yeah. no, like, you can't trust that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyway, we all have rock solid alibis for when we heard Hifumi scream. Since all of us were there together, clearly none of us could have killed him. And it does not stop there. 
There was also the moment when we discovered his body had disappeared. When his body vanished from the nurse's office, Hina and I were in the bathroom together, while everyone else was in the equipment room, correct? And then, there's the disappearance of Taka's body from the equipment room. At that time, we were all gathered together in the nurse's office because of Hifumi going missing. Well, don't forget, I was passed out in the equipment room the whole time. Wait, then what if Genocide Jill did it? She could have dragged Taka's body out of there right then! Even if she could pull that off, there's no way she could have done the same with Hifumi's body. Because, as we just established, she was passed out in the equipment room when his body disappeared. Mm -hmm. Besides, I didn't do either of them anyway. <laughs> in other words, it is impossible that any of us could have killed Hifumi or moved either of their bodies. On the other hand, Hiro and Kyoko had disappeared. So they most certainly could have done those things. Yeah, I mean, it's fair. Yeah. It looks bad for Hiro and Kyoko. It does. I, I do have to say. Yeah. Hmm. So what now, Kyoko? For now, we can't get fixated on who did it, or we'll just keep going around in circles. So instead of who, I propose we start talking about how. In particular, I think we need to figure out how Hifumi's body got moved. That's true. We searched everywhere. But we couldn't figure out how to explain his body disappearing. And according to what Celeste said... Yeah, couldn't have been gone for very long. It yeah, came... so the window's incredibly tight. Yes. Mm -hmm. His body apparently disappeared in the one minute her and Hina took their eyes off of it. But to carry that much weight from the first floor up to the third? I mean, in that Sasha short amount of time? It. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Of the available options. There's no she's way. Like, she's it's impossible. Yeah. Well, what if I told you there was a way to make the impossible possible? Hello? What? How? If the dead body were to move itself. There you go. There it is. There you go, Allison. There we go. We finally got there. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the, the dead body m m moved on its own? Because it wasn't a dead body yet! No! Not another. Alright. Yeah. I, <laughs> I think what she's implying is. Your patience is gone for him! Yeah! Oh my god. We thought Hifumi was dead, but perhaps in reality he was still alive. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Well, well done, everyone. Alive? Yep. Are you saying Hifumi wasn't carried out of the nurse's office, Let me, but like, simply check walked out on anything. his own? Yeah, I'm surprised that no one checks for vitals in this. Everyone's just like, <gasps> it's a dead body. And then everyone, well, I mean, they heard the announcement, so. Yeah, so they assumed. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, we found his body. He was dead. Perhaps he was simply playing dead. He wiped his own glasses with the blood off so he could see where he was going. Yeah. That it isn't possible. The idea that Hifumi was still alive. Is it really possible? Well, wait. Oh, Damn it. shit. Damn it, Allison. Shit. <laughs> shit. I gotta do this one. Let me do this one. Oh, broken no. Wrist. All right. I don't want broken wristwatch. That's I all you got. Ugh. I think I got a steal. Are Definitely. You that when we first found Hifumi in the I'm nurse's so office, sorry. <laughs> there's a chance he was actually still alive. How am I supposed to? <laughs> you shoot the, the side. Yeah. Hifumi they're separate was buttons. Dead, yeah. Without a doubt. And you know that how? Okay. Shortly, you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. Uh huh. Uh huh. Hifumi's dead body had been found. Um, and that is why the announcement was made. Did Are we found? really so sure about that? Maybe the announcement was intended to signal someone else's someone discovery. Someone else. So, so, yeah, I think someone else's discovery needs to shoot. Body had been found. I think you're right. Yeah. Yes. Uh, but Hifumi's talking to at almost the exact same time. Are you okay. saying that when we first found him, there's a chance he was actually still alive? Yes. He was no. still alive. It is impossible. Hifumi was dead, and you know that shortly you heard the body discovery announced. Hifumi's dead body had been found. 
And that is why the announcement was made. Uh-huh. Are we really so okay, sure next. about that? Maybe the announcement yes, was intended bullet. to signal someone else's okay. discovery. Okay. It's either someone else's discovery hit body has been found, or body has been found hit someone else's discovery. I'm not sure. It's one or the other, so we're gonna find out. Okay. You were you were making Are the strangest phase. I'm like I'm just thinking in the nurse's office. I don't know which it's gonna be, but but if the this doesn't work, we can do the other. Actually, still alive. Okay, not no. that one. It is impossible. He for me was dead. Nope. Without a doubt. And you know that how? Surely you heard the body discovery announcement along with the rest of us. He for me was dead. Okay. Now it's gonna hit the shit. silence. Ah, oh, you're right. Oh shit! And that is shit. Why the announcement All right, I'm gonna get it back. Okay, that's fine. Are we really? Maybe right. the announcement was intended to signal someone else's discovery. You have to, you have to destroy the silence. Oh, oh, in order to get rid of yeah, yeah, you, yeah, like yeah, I, 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 get I, I out of the way first. Yeah, it's free. Just shoot it. I know, I know. <laughs> when we first found Hifumi in the nursing chest. Okay, go, go, go. Okay. Still alive. Not that. Just Don't keep going. Okay, okay. Dead. And you know that shortly you heard the body discovery announcement <laughs> along with the Hifumi's dead body had been found. <laughs> There we go. Please hit it. There you go. No, All right. Okay, we got there. Okay. Whoo. Whoo. So was bad. The discovery announcement that was made really intended for Hifumi. It would have been more fun if we cut off before, but we do I need to cut off so here. Sorry. This is a very long episode. <laughs> I am so sorry. It is okay. So so yeah, that was interesting. I think your your theory from early on has it seems like everybody seems to agree seems with like it. Seems like it's now. panning out. Yeah, it's yeah, panning yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, which is very exciting. Fucking cool. Yeah, you it. absolutely called that, which yes. is fun. But yes, now we need to yes. see what the implications of that are because right. that doesn't necessarily solve the mystery. It doesn't um, because they're both dead. Yes. Like. Mm, but yeah. we're gonna think more about that next time. You are exactly right. We will continue with the trial next time. All right. See you, folks. Thank you.